Santa Farmhouse is in the Christmas house, and he's in the Christmas spirit too. Are you getting there yet? No? Well, he's still got a ways to go. Not too worry. Well, you're feeling all Christmassy, aren't you? We got the old Santa Farmhouse logo with the snow, and of course, the roaring fire. Hmm, I should have made myself a nice hot cup of cocoa. A little bit of chocolate would do Santa Farmhouse some good. Actually, now that I think about it, if I look under the magical Christmas tree, we have our advent calendar. That's right. Oh, that's right. Let me take off my magical and whatever, my gloves. <clears throat> okay, where are we here? Huh. A little bit of a ditch there. Day three. That is us. Day three. Barty got two doors open. That's wonderful. Let's see what we've got to do. Oh, come on. Well, look at that. It is. Can you see that from here? Probably not. It is this little bunny rabbit in the snow. Isn't that cute? I'm going to eat that in just a second. But I have a question for you. Santa Farmhouse wants to know what is that special gift that you are hoping to find? under your Christmas tree on Christmas morning. Or Christmas Eve. Uh oh, I dropped it on the floor. Or Christmas Eve, depending on when you celebrate the holiday. What is that special something that you hope to get under your tree? Is it a Wii U? Maybe it is an iPad. Is that a farm I wants to know? So please, leave a comment below. And now I'm going to eat the little chocolate bunny in the snow without eating half of my beard in the process. Oh, no, no. Mm. Mm. Me likey the chocolate. Okay. <clears throat> ah, well, it just happens to be that the video game that we're taking a look at today also has a little something to do with bunnies in the snow. Let's check out another PC game. This one is. Jazz Jack Rabbit Holiday Hair from 1995. Epic Mega Games, or as they're known now as just as Epic. This is Jazz Jack Rabbit Holiday Hair from 1995. Wow, we're going back. Here's the main menu. One of the things that I always thought was cool, or at least I thought it was cool back in 1995, was the snow that falls in the menu actually builds up on Jazz. It doesn't just fall past him, it actually builds up on him. Okay, it's not that cool. Anyways, let's go to a new game here. I'm gonna go easy, just because this game can be pretty difficult. So this is the special holiday level that they released as, I guess, maybe a shareware? I'm not even 100% sure. But is the Christmas version of Jazz Jackrabbit. You get these weird drunk mice as enemies. Like, they're all walking all messed up. So if you don't know who Jazz is, Jazz was basically the PC's answer to Sonic the Hedgehog. And was essentially on every single piece of sho not shovel or shareware it was called um, back in the 90s. So he's running around in the snow. It's got one of the most creepy versions of Carol of the Bells I've ever heard. Look at this, I've already found a shortcut. I'm surprised they left the walls pink. They should have made them blue or something, like winterize it a little bit better. But I guess there's some Christmas ornaments. Hello. Can I get up there? There's a little bird. Hey. Ah, no. Can't get it. Whatever. I don't know all the secrets and shortcuts. I haven't played this game in virtually forever. But I know he helps you out if you do pick him up. They're, they look like ornaments, but they also kind of look like those, um, what do they call those? Hershey's Kisses? Trying to get this star here. There we go. It's kind of invincibility. Oop, there's a checkpoint. The weird thing about this is the invincibility just makes you uh, not get hurt by enemies, but it won't kill them uh, when you run into people the way that, uh, not people, but characters, the way that they do in like Sonic. But I guess when you have a gun, you don't really need that ability. And in this particular stage, the only, the only enemies are these 
drunk ass rats or mice or whatever they are that are probably all hepped up on eggnog or something. It's not like I said, it's not an overly Christmassy level. There's some gingerbread men as well. But it was cool back in the day when it was when it came out. It was very cool. In fact, you don't see a lot of that anymore, these special holiday versions of games. Um, like special editions of like a regular game. Is he saying rapid fire or rabbit fire? Rap rabbit fire. It's like, it's like some dude in his basement recorded that sound file. <laughs> Rapid fire. Alright, let's keep going. Luckily the ground isn't that slippery, so... It looks like it would be with all the snow. Hello, and more secret areas. And what is this? A one-up? <laughs> one-up. Alright, let's keep moving. Oh, I think we're towards the end of the level here. Hang on, maybe there's something down here. Yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, you don't see a lot of, like, whoa, that's weird, <laughs> a lot of, um, like, Christmas versions of games. You, now you get, like, these Christmas, whatever, shovelware games, or whatever you want to call them, I don't know. But no, like, what was, it? like, unless it's modification, unless it's people doing mods, like, if you guys watch my videos, you saw that Sonic Generations mod. That's a cool mod that would have been cool to have as, like, free DLC for the game. And I, I would love to see more of these new games come with some free DLC for Christmas. Like, Christmas stuff. Makes it cool. <laughs> I think he does say rabbit fire. I don't even know. So we're gonna play a little bit more. I love these gingerbread men. One's happy, one's... <laughs> and then the guy with no head is like all mad. <laughs> so Christmas is coming. It's coming up fast. And I hope you can bear with some of the games that I've chosen. Like like I said, this isn't necessarily an overly Christmassy version of the game, but when it comes to people talking about Christmas video games, Jazz Jackrabbit Holiday Hair usually always- Hey, I found the void! Usually always comes up. So I had to do it. And I believe last year we took a look at Christmas Chronicles, which was a later version, but this was like- this isn't even the original Christmas version. I believe 1994 there was a Christmas version as well. But I, I chose the 1995 one because, well, it was all I could get my hands on. <laughs> I like the bird because he, he, li he literally destroys everything. He'll even shoot out blocks that you don't like there. Like, I didn't know I could do that. I Whatever. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Got some Oreo cookies there, we got some Christmas chocolates. I gotta be getting close to the end of this level. And the only reason I'm still playing is because I believe the next level has a different theme and different Christmas music as well. I especially like games that have uh, Christmas music. Like, if it's a Christmas-based game, I like the game itself to have Christmas music. If I already give, like, a point system, if you make a Christmas game and it doesn't have Christmas music in it, I would say you lose a lot of points. It doesn't matter how much snow or Santa Clauses or snowmen that you put in there. Ooh, I can't get up there. Anyways. Yeah, it doesn't matter how much of that stuff in, uh, you put in there. If you don't have Christmas music, it kind of loses its feeling a little bit. And even though, like I said, this is a, a little bit of a weird version of Carol of the Bells, it's still Christmas music. Even if it's a version of a Christmas song, it makes it that much better. Especially in a game like this, where it's essentially just a bunch of snow and some Christmas ornaments that are supposed to make it Christmassy. I'm not sure what's up with that star. Oh, it's gone now. Alright, we gotta be getting close to the end of the level here. Ow! I lost my bird. As soon as you get hit, you lose the bird. I'm sure the bird has a name. I just don't know what it is. I haven't played these games in a bazillion years. And another fun thing about these old games, sometimes they're not that easy to get to run on these new PCs. Even if you have a copy of DOSBox, which is what I'm using, which is a fantastic program, I must say, for playing these old DOS games. Um, sometimes the game itself just doesn't like to run properly. Here we go, I killed 95% of the enemies. 
We should be going up on a new level. There we go. Some different music. Watch this. <laughs> I love that. What are you doing? That's what you get when you stand around. Same kind of the way that when Sonic does, he starts tapping his foot when you're not using the controller. He's like, would you hurry up? So of all the songs that they ch like the songs that they chose, we have Carol of the Bells, and now we have Little Drummer Boy. Very obscure, but a cool, like, upbeat version of it. And for some reason there's like Lego men in here. I guess they're supposed to be all toys. We got teddy bears, we got a crazy raggedy Ann. And we got these flying things that are making me upset. <laughs> we got the epic bunny. Holy crap, do you guys remember the Energizer bunny commercials? It keeps going. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I think we're going to wrap up the video. Because it, it's, it's, I've actually spent a long time, much longer than I should have, playing this game. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, it's not super Christmassy, but... Well, look at that background. It's the background that causes seizures. Holy cow. Anyways, guys, we're still at the beginning of the month, which is good, because that means we got a lot more Christmas videos to come, which means a lot more Christmas video games. Thanks for watching for Farmhouse, the Christmas Gamer. Guys, I'll see you on YouTube, and I'm hopefully getting you a little bit into the Christmas spirit. See you on YouTube. Cheers. Ow.